Today, March 20th, marks the National Day for Kickbutts Day, and we're here at Pioneers, uh, working with them in collaboration, uh, pretty much, you know, scanning through the hospital and picking up cigarette butts. Today, the reason why we're not only promoting not to smoke on campus, and we're also at the same time basically committing ourselves with the Imperial County Tobacco Coalition in saying uh, no cigarette butts on our campus. Today is National Kick Butts Day, so together we are kicking butt and going around the campus because, you know, these cigarette butts do contain chemicals and we cannot have those on campus. We are a smoke-free campus, we have policies, but we're putting our policy into action today by picking up the cigarette butts. Uh, there, there are numerous uh, chemicals that are in cigarettes. There's rat poison, there's uh, just, I can't even tell you all that, that there are. So they're dangerous and the danger is even uh, a child could pick them up, put it in their mouth, and that could be a really, really serious problem for a small child. Today we had over 15 to 20 people. We had different people uh, helping us out. We had the Office of Assemblymember Garcia's office come in as well from the state. Uh, we had the Imperial County Tobacco Coalition staff as well on site. And we have numerous staff members of, of Pioneers Memorial Hospital and as well as our fearless volunteers. So with the help of our volunteers, our partnerships that we've created here at Pioneers Hospital, we're able to do the job today. We wanted to really clean up out there because I, it, it means a lot to the patients to uh, have a clean area. This is showing us how many people are exposing not only themselves but other people to the, uh, the smoke from the tobacco from their cigarettes and how dangerous that is and, and how much it can affect their health. I'm from the office of Assemblymember Eduardo Garcia and we're here to support pioneers on the kick butt day because he thinks that it is important for people to lead a healthy life. The whole purpose of this event is obviously to see the impacts that tobacco has not only on people's health but also our environment and our local communities. And we're hoping that you know other agencies or other um, healthcare facilities can see that um, Implementing smoke-free policies uh, is a good option for them and you know that the uh, Tobacco Education Project is always there to assist when it comes to technical assistance or even putting events um, like this uh, together. We're all in this together and if we have more partners like Pioneers Hospital that partner with us, we're able to get the word out and we're able to go to the cities and, and even the county to make sure that we have smoke-free communities. Smoking not only affects you, it affects those around you. If you're a parent or a grandparent, when you're smoking with those little ones around you, they're breathing in that smoke and that could actually end up causing them one day to have a serious illness and you could also end up with cancer. And that's not a win situation. The only win situation is to stop smoking.